Well, welcome everyone to the last of the Thinking Critically About Sustainable Energy series. And for those who've attended some or all of the previous ones, we've covered a range of technologies, starting with fossil fuels and looking at how we might make those both more sustainable and also reduce their carbon emissions. We've looked at existing renewable energy technologies that are being built today and looked into the future of renewable energy, uh, some of the alternative technologies such as wave power and geothermal that may be delivering energy in the next decade or two. And we've had a debate on nuclear power and the role of energy efficiency. So the context has been set for all of these energy technologies and tonight we get out our crystal ball and we gaze into the, the future, what Shakespeare called the undiscovered country. We don't know what it's going to hold, either for Australia or all for the world, but we can speculate and we can do that on the basis of evidence of what's gone on in the past and what's happening today and what are going to be the motivating drivers for change. Um, and what I've done today is drawn together experts who have differing opinions about what the future may hold, none of them claiming, um, as I, as I um, don't claim either, that we know what the future is going to hold, but saying what is possible and what are the limits of these technologies, how quickly might uh, they unfold and how fast can we replace fossil fuels, which are obviously the current mainstay of our energy supply. So we have uh, Dr Peter Seligman, um, who will talk about renewable energy, and he's written a book um, called Australian Sustainable Energy by the Numbers. And we've got Dr Ian Hall-Lacey, who uh, works for the World Nuclear Association, who will look at the prospects for nuclear energy in Australia and worldwide. And we also have um, Associate Professor John Spear, who will look at the social dimensions of the energy transition, because it's going to impact on all of our lives. <coughs> and so we need to understand how society will accept <coughs> these changes, what will be most amenable uh, sources of energy to, to move towards, and how we make these adjustments. Uh, because it, these are really critical issues that, as the opening uh, talk suggested, underpin almost everything we do in modern society. So it's a real societal issue as much as it is a technological and economic one. After we've had the three speakers, as is tradition in this series, we'll then have a rigorous discussion and debate amongst the panellists and also open the floor up for audience questions. So it's a great pleasure to have a full house here again to hear about energy futures and what the world may look like from an energy perspective in, in around 2050 or so. And to kick that off, we'll introduce Dr Peter Seligman from the University of Melbourne, who's an electronics engineer who's also worked for many years on the bionic ear. Um, and he's written this book about sustainable energy in Australia and how we might go large scale with renewables. And so he'll present his vision statement to lead off the show. Thanks very much. 